What's up guys? It's your boy JD. We really missed you over the past few weeks and um, it's good to get back filming. We've been studying, you know, for school, but we have been doing a couple of streams in the past few weeks, but it's nice to finally film another devotional because we always need to re remember to focus on the goodness of God. Today I'll be talking to you about prayer. Like in our Father's Day, Father's Day um, trip, we went to the snowy mountains and we prayed that we would have safety, um, not, you know, because it's a long way to snowy mountains, of course, so we really prayed that we ha would have a safe trip and we'd even stay safe at snowy mountains and God has been faithful and has answered our prayers. Also, at school, we just had our public speaking stage finals and I've also prayed for that and I made it to the next level. I am going to go to William Dean and I'm going to present my speech there and also going to do an impromptu. If you don't know, impromptu is you have to have like three or five minutes to make a speech like on the day. So it's quite scary and you do have to present it. Now back to the importance of prayer. Let's, we'll expand on that now and um, sit tight and stay tuned. I'll be talking about prayer, how it can help you and it can benefit you. But first, before we do that, let's start off with the reading of the word. Zoe will read to us Philippians 4, verse 4 to 9. Philippians 4, verse 4 to 9. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell about God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing, fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that you are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and receiving from me everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. As you may know, I've been growing up with two little sisters and they have grown up to like watching fairy tales and sometimes I just have to watch with them and as everyone who's watched a fairy tale knows every princess needs a fairy godmother when the damsel's in distress she calls out for help fairy godmother comes waves her wand and poof problem solved but when the princess is living the good life, she neglects the fairy godmother and doesn't talk to her anymore. Sometimes that is how people treat God. They only talk to him and pray to him when they are in distress or when they're in trouble. Now, don't get me wrong. The Lord loves to, to deliver you from trouble. Proverbs 18.10 says, the name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. But God does not only want to hear your, your call for help. God loves to help his people, but he doesn't want to only hear your calls for help. He would love to talk to you every day, just like you would talk to your best friend. He would love to know about your day or how you are feeling. He cares about every word you say. How about you? Are you praying throughout the day? You don't have to pray in church. You can pray anywhere, on your desk, on your bike, anywhere really. God always hears your prayers and he always cares about anything you say. Our memory verse for today is 1 Thessalonians 5.17. Isa has memorized this verse and will now quote it for us. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 Keep on praying. All right, guys. 
you have reached the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And please show your comments and suggestions in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Any suggestions that you want us to talk about in our devotionals, we'd love to hear from you. Don't forget, keep praying. Bye.